One huge problem with being in a relationship with a toxic person or having a toxic family member is that person is always going to let you down. They're always going to be treating you nice sometimes and then flipping and treating you terribly. The love bomb and the devalue cycle will continue and they will always let you down. When we start to put hope into the positive that we see, when we start to think that the love bombing means that there's been change or a change of heart or the person sees how much they hurt you and they don't want to hurt you and so they've decided to be a kind and loving person. When we start to believe in the good so much that it fills us with feelings of relief, with feelings of almost euphoria, bliss, you know, contentment, and then they flip and they devalue and they criticize and they blame and they gaslight and they project. When all of this happens, you know what that is. That's the trauma bond cycle setting in. That is the love bomb devalue cycle of a narcissistic relationship or other toxic relationship that when it continues creates the trauma bonding in you that makes you chase the high of the good times, okay? It gets you addicted. It gets your brain thinking that the only solution to your life is to get this toxic person to be nice to you, to treat you right. That isn't a healthy relationship. A good relationship has two people putting into it the best they can to be fair and kind to the other person, okay? If you keep going back to a toxic person because you think it's going to change, because you think they finally get it, because you're so lonely that you think it's okay to have the good that they give you when they give it, and that you can deal with the bad. If you think that you have figured out narcissism so well because you've watched so many of these videos that you can go back into a toxic relationship and be just fine, chances are you are incorrect in this assumption. It, chances are you're fooling yourself because you are still trauma bonded or you're living in fantasy about wanting to have what you thought you were going to have with this toxic person. Leaving a toxic relationship is very complex. It is multifaceted and has a lot of layers to it. It isn't just a simple cut and dry thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't need help in doing so. If you guys agree with that, hit the thumbs up. It's not like just walking away from something that's bad and saying, oh my gosh, I'd never do that again. Imagine any other experience in life that you've had that just hasn't been your thing, hasn't been good for you, hasn't felt good, hasn't worked out in a way that like served your life or was good for your life. Do you keep going back to it? Probably not as much as you do this toxic person. Imagine the worst food you've ever eaten, the very worst thing you have ever tasted and eaten and like, tried to choke down two or three bites of that just couldn't eat another bite. Are you going to go back to it because maybe it tastes better this time? Maybe once or twice in your life as you grow and change, you might taste that food that you dislike so much to see if maybe your taste buds have changed. But you're not going to dive right back in and have an entire meal out of it. You're going to sample it. Okay, you might question it. You might think about it, but you're not going to dive in and just make that your main diet. Okay, this is what we do when we go back to narcissistic people. When you've done the education, when you have watched the videos, and especially when you have reached out and gotten therapy, okay, and then you still go back to this toxic person, what you're doing is exactly that. You are going right back to something that you know is awful for you, isn't going to benefit your life, and you're making a choice and you are falling back into the cycle of the toxic abusive relationship that you had before. You're falling into it because you haven't fully healed. You are not, you're falling into it because you're lonely. You're falling into it because it seems like it's better than nothing. Whatever your reason is, let me know if you're doing this or if you've done this and what your reason was because it's important to talk about this stuff so that you and other people can find their way through it and recognize and realize they don't have to stay in toxic relationships. They can get out, move forward, and continue their life without going back to that thing that's really bad for them. And this is one thing if you need coaching or group coaching for that might be beneficial to reach out. Main description has all the information on where to find me and where to find the group. There's also peer support there if you need it, okay? So we're going to talk just a few seconds more about self-worth about self-care, about healing so that you don't reach back. It's very natural, it's very normal, and it's very common to want to reach back and continue 
with a relationship with someone you were once with who is narcissistic, especially, okay, because they hoover, because they keep the door open because they don't give you closure because in their hoovers, they have so many tactics for getting you to pay attention to them because the relationship left you feeling lonely, unworthy, depressed, sad, and all these terrible things about yourself. Okay. Healing those things, healing the way that you feel and think about yourself, your beliefs that kept you in that toxic relationship to begin with your personal choice in life and recognizing you have choice and you're able to make choice and that being alone isn't loneliness. Being alone is simply being with someone awesome, which is you. Okay. And being with someone toxic isn't going to solve the loneliness of not having a companion. It's just going to make your life complicated and messy. So let me know in the comments, if you have questions about how to heal from this about and and. If you want to talk to me about what you're going through so that we can talk further about healing from toxic relationships, check out the playlist on self-care and healing because there are already a lot of videos there and I will see you guys on one of those. Take care.